You've lived under Sharia law. You've dealt with all the restrictions that you have on all of the freedoms that we take for granted here in the West. Uh, and yet our leaders think that in the Middle East, in Islamic law-based countries, that you can just introduce Western liberalism, that our ideas are compatible, and that, as President Bush said, Islam is a religion of peace. That was a, the central argument, basically, in his whole foreign policy in that region. You reject that idea, and you, you argue in your last book that, in fact, we've been wrong, basically, for 15 years. It isn't about uh, materialism. It's actually about an ideology that's at the core of what we are facing, this global jihadist movement. It, speak to that a little bit. Islam is a religion of peace. It's not an argument. It's a slogan. It's maybe the world as you wish it to be, but it is not the world as it is. Islam is not a religion of peace. The founder of Islam, Muhammad, when he came about and he started speaking to the Meccan communities of which he came of, uh, they, they, didn't, they weren't attracted to the idea of giving up their gods and their idols and their ways of life. So for the first 10 years, he was incapable of persuading them to give all of that up for whatever it is that he promised. It's only when he moved to Medina, the Hijra, which means to settle or to colonize, he settled and he colonized with his band of men. He applied force, and when he succeeded with force, he had to introduce a set of laws, rules amongst his men. And he was successful at that. And in his time, if you study Muhammad, the founder of Islam, in his time and in his context, it would make for a fascinating academic read. What we find, where we find ourselves today is people who are willing, able, and motivated to emulate Muhammad in the time in Medina. And when our president says it's a religion of peace, he may knowingly or unknowingly refer to Muhammad's life in Mecca, but he's not referring to him in his life in Medina. And I think that it's very critical that we see that, that we see that uh, I, I do not want to be the person who promotes uh, xenophobia, intolerance in the United States of America today or anywhere else. But I do want to be the person to say, of all the xenophobic ideas we are seeing since Stalinism, Marxism, Islamic law and those who are promoting Islamic law, Sharia, Jihad, commanding right, forbidding wrong, investing in life after death, that that is really the bad idea of our time. And they emulate Muhammad in Medina.